Hey everyone, Matt Martin here from Smooth River Guiding. I'm going to be sitting down with Chris from Drift Outfitters today to go over my favorite egg pattern, the Daphnia Fritz egg. Uh, fantastic egg that you should really throw in your box for this fall steelhead run. Um, it's going to be tied on um, a Hannock size 10 jig trophy. Um, the, it is a very heavy wire hook, not going to bend out. It does come barbed. Um, you can fish it, you know, barbed if you wish. I, I just pinch the barb. It makes sliding the bead over the hook a little easier, but also uh, better for the fish. Um, we are going to fish a four millimeter slotted tungsten bead on this in uh, kind of a bright orange, like an egg yolk orange. Uh, helps with that blood spot you'd find on a real salmon egg or steelhead egg. Uh, it's tied quite large. Uh, it could be, you know, taken as a Single egg could be taken as a cluster of eggs. Uh, either way, the fish, uh, as one of my favorite sayings, is fish don't have hands. They see this thing coming down, they want to see what it is, they stick it in their mouth. Uh, so we're going to start our thread behind the bead, a bunch of wraps, create a little dam just to keep that bead in place. Come back the hook, come down the hook about four millimeters or so, snip your thread off. You're going to get uh, some of this material, um, the Daphnia Fritz by F&F, &F, uh, really, uh, fishy material. Uh, it is used often in blobs, um, still water pattern, but it makes a great egg fly as well. Uh, lots of sheen and some of the rivers that I guide have uh, very low um, or very high or turbulent water. So that extra shine, I think helps it stand out from the natural a little bit. And in turn, get some to investigate. Gonna tie, strip some material away to make it easier to tie in. Wrap back up to the bead. <coughs> All we're gonna do with this is so simple. One wrap and two wraps. Put the thread behind the material and wrap that in to the bead with a couple of turns and then in front of the material and snip it off. It is a 15 second tie probably if you're cranking them out. Do a little whip finish. You can fish these things tight to cover uh, along the bottom with no fear of losing them because if you do you've probably got another dozen or so ready to go um, really simple fly to tie but uh, easily one of the number one producers when they're on the egg bite